Today I'm going to show you this Sam Colder style zoom transition in Premiere Pro. Let's start by creating an adjustment layer and dragging it above your two clips on the timeline. From the center of the two clips, hold shift and push the left arrow key twice. Now make a cut by holding control and pushing K and delete the rest of the adjustment layer. Now let's do the same for the other side. From the center of the clips, move ahead 10 frames by again holding shift and hitting the right arrow key twice. Then make another cut and delete the rest of the layer. Duplicate your adjustment layer by holding Alt and clicking and dragging above, and then collapse your bottom layer from the left side back to the center. Under Effects, find Replicate and drag it onto the bottom layer, and we also want to add the mirror effect four times. With the bottom layer selected, go to Effect Controls and copy the values you see here for all four mirrors. These values perfectly remove the harsh lines from our Replicate effect, so when we zoom in you don't see them. Now go down and change the Replicate count to 3. Back to Effects, find Transform and drag it onto the top adjustment layer. Starting from the middle of the two clips again, move back 6 frames by hitting the left arrow key 6 times, and with the top layer selected, go to Effect Controls and click on the stopwatch icon next to Scale under Transform. Now move your timeline slider ahead 12 frames and go back to Effect Controls and change the value of Scale to 300. Then uncheck the Use Composition's Shutter Angle and change the value to 360. 